Hey everybody, so there was an update on the Morgan Nick case. I didn't get to update her case this week because I've been working a lot. So I wanted to make sure that I did make an update because I covered her case quite a while ago. So I'm going to share this with you. I'm not going to go through the whole press conference because it was a few days ago that it came out. If you don't remember Morgan Nick, this is her picture from when she was went missing. This is her age progressed photo right there. Again, the pictures, and they're a little bit bigger, so you can see them. So in a stunning development, Alma Police Chief Jeff Pointer announced a suspect in the disappearance nearly 30 years ago of a six-year-old Morgan Nick who vanished at a Little League baseball game on June 9, 1995. DNA analysis of a blonde hair taken from a red truck belonging to the suspect, Billy Jack Lynx, strongly indicates that Morgan was in the truck matching the description of one spotted that day at the Arkansas ball field. So I'm going to play a little bit of the press conference. We called you here today uh, to report a significant development in the investigation of the 1995 kidnapping of Morgan Nick. If you'll recall that Morgan was kidnapped, kidnapped from a parking lot of the Alma Little League ball field, just about a block away from here, around 10.45 p.m. on June the 9th, 1995. A suspect description was provided, as was a description of a red truck with a white camper shell that was allegedly involved. Since then, we, along with allied local, state, and federal law enforcement officials, have spent thousands of hours uh, working more than 10,000 leads in this case. One of the early persons of interest in this case was Billy Jack Lynx. Lynx was arrested for sexual, sexual solicitation of a child on August 29, 1995 in Van Buren, Arkansas. On that occasion, Lynx tried to lure an 11-year-old girl into his red pickup truck. This was roughly 12 weeks after Morgan's disappearance. Police questioned Lynx on August 31, 1995. He denied any knowledge of Morgan's abduction and at that time appeared to be truthful. Investigators at that time moved on. In Ju July 2019, uh, then Alma Police Department, Lieutenant Brett Hartley uh, decided to go back to the beginning of this case to review the case from the beginning. During that process, uh, Lieutenant Hartley spoke with an individual who provided information, inspiring him to revisit the possibility that Billy Jack Lynx might be Morgan's abductor. Investigators worked to locate the truck Lynx owned in 1995, and we were able to uh, contact the current owner of that truck. Uh, we determined that the owner had no knowledge of Lynx. Um, he gave permission uh, for us to examine that, the truck for evidence at that time. To that end, investigators arranged uh, for the FBI evidence response team to examine the truck, and they did so on July the 28th, 2020. During the, or I'm sorry, among the collection methods the team used was that of vacuuming various locations within the vehicle. In doing so, uh, they produced several vacuum canisters containing various forms of matter, including hair from the vehicle. Upon completion of the collection process, the FBI retained custody of the evidence. In July, 2023, Detective Sean Taylor with the Alma Police Department learned of advanced analysis processes that's available at Ortham Laboratory, which is based in Texas. Detective Taylor conferred with a representative of the lab and learned a mother, 
uh, among other things, they have been successful in developing DNA profiles from hair with or without roots. On September 11th, 2023, uh, Detective, Detective Taylor conferred uh, with an FBI agent to discuss the possibility of sending this trace evidence to Ortham Labs. On February, I'm sorry, on September 27th, 2023, uh, Detective Taylor received a package uh, containing this evidence from the FBI, which was originally from the red truck. On December 1st, 2023, uh, Detective Taylor sent this evidence to Ortham Laboratory uh, for testing. And it's at that time that I wish to express my sincere thanks uh, to the Arkansas State Police for providing the funding that was necessary to perform this analysis. On September 27, 2024, Ortham Laboratory uh, sent a report to Detective Taylor stating in, in, in essence that, that they determined that the hair contained in the evidence that was submitted, submitted for analysis was that of Colleen Nick, one of her siblings or one of her children. <clears throat> We spent the next few days uh, doing follow-up interviews with members of the Nick family, which revealed that none of them knew Billy Jack Links and that none of them had been in a truck that was similar to this one. The bottom line in this is that the physical evidence collected from the truck that Links owned when Morgan was abducted strongly indicates that Morgan had been in this truck. Billy Jack Links died in the year 2000. I think the most important thing here uh, is Morgan is still missing. But we've reached a point uh, where we can con concentrate on one suspect to determine the circumstances surrounding Morgan's abduction. How was she taken from the ball field? What happened next? Did Lynx have help in abdu abducting Morgan or concealing his crime all these years? And where is Morgan now? I can tell you today that this investigation is not over. It is ongoing and active. In the wake of this development, we're working to expand our understanding of Lynx and his activities. Uh, this includes, for example, additional interviews and re-interviews of known associates. Oh, yeah. And locating any additional physical evidence. This is where we need your help. Uh, we ask that every member of the public who might have information that can help answer these questions contact us at 1-800-THE-LOST, which is the center for the number for the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. It's 1-800-843-5678. This time we will take a few questions. Chief, what's the, what's the next, uh, next step on, uh, on, uh, on this? Uh, and I guess what other information are, are you still investigating or is there other evidence that you're still investigating at this point? Well, like explained, uh, we want to go back and um, see if there's any lo any more evidence that can be located. Um, you know, our next step is is refocusing um, on Mr. Links' activities and and uh, in, any unknown associ associates of his at that time. Have you checked his old house in that area? There's been some investigations that have been done there, yes. Is Billy Jack Leeds being declared as an actual suspect? As of today, uh, for the first time that I'm aware of in this case, um, I'm calling Billy Jack Leeds a suspect in Morgan's abduction. And that's right now, he's the only person, correct? He is. Talk about two things. Nearly 30 years later, that's incredible that you've been able to, to have this evidence analyzed. Um, talk about that for me. Well, you know, I'm, I'm not going to stand here and, and try to a answer scientific questions because I, I don't understand them. The fact is, um, you know, a laboratory that does this kind of testing um, has confirmed that, that this evidence was located in the truck. Um, you know, it, it took them a while uh, to get some results uh, just because you just said it's been almost 30 years. And and so the, the, the fact that the, the evidence was degraded, uh, so that it did take some time to to provide those results. And we still have family in this area, in this region today. Have they been cooperative? The family that we have talked to has been cooperative, yes. How confident are you that this is going to lead to her whereabouts? Uh, yeah, I, I can't answer that right now. Um, we hope that that's the end result to be able to bring Morgan home. 
you mentioned uh, looking at whether he act, he acted he acted alone. Are there any, any indications that he that he didn't he didn't act alone, or you know, how are you looking into those things? Well, you know, there's there's still as I mentioned, there's it's still active and ongoing. Um, you know, we don't know if he acted alone or if he um, had someone with him. Um, those are some things that we we want to go back and try to find out just by uh, mainly interviews um, and reexamining some of the evidence. Is there anything that's pointed to that? To that we, as of right now, we have no no indication of that. But again, that's that's something that I, I can't answer for sure right now. I'm trying to refresh my memory. Really up to speed. I believe it was reported that some people reported a possible red truck, possibly this person in the Kibler area at River Access uh, location. Is that any more information? Uh, am I correct when I said that? Uh, not long after the disappearance of matching his, his description of that truck there. Um, yes, there was, you know, if, if you guys were, remember, as I know most of you do, uh, there was a lot of reports of this red truck uh, at various locations around that time. Do you believe that's founded, that report that you received about that truck at that location? Uh, we believe that, that several of the locations is, has been confirmed. Do you know um, how many hands this truck has been passed over and has it just been a direct sale to the last person? It, it has had a few owners in between. And are those like recorded sales or is that cash it, on the table type? No, it is. It's recorded sales. Did you say you only found one piece of hair, or were there multiple? It's my understanding there was there was multiple hairs found, uh, but there was one of them that was that there was these results came from. And has the hair been tested before and now retested? I can't answer that for sure, but it's my understanding that this hair has never been tested. As of now, of kidnapping of Morgan Nick. Ever said anything? New Hampshire can't afford Joyce Craig's huge pay raise. I'm going to speed ahead to Morgan Nick's mom talking. Previous arrest here in Crawford County a few years prior. And I know you've looked at it around this area, had some family around. Who do you hang out with? Tell us. Looking into his past, another data has been looked at. Okay, so we have a part-time investigation of a similar pickup of the FBI. Uh, and then the you know resources for us. You know, there have been an army of supporters and advocates and heroes who have rallied to uncover the truth about Morgan's disappearance. And you see those people here in this room today. And what I have to say about Billy Jack Links is that he stole Morgan from me. He stole her from her dad. And he stole her from Logan and Taryn. But he didn't see that he could never win. Because our love for Morgan, her memory and her voice outlasted his life and that love continues to shine her heart morgan's heart shines on again we appreciate you guys being here today um any media media uh, questions are going to be routed to the arkansas state police public information officer um again thank you Again, I wanted to make sure that I did update Morgan's case. And if any more updates do come out, I will make sure that I update it more. Please remember to hit the like button, comment below with positive thoughts for Morgan's, Morgan's mom and Morgan's family. Thank you and have a great night. Love you all. Bye.